Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome to Tandy Write. So for this video I decided instead of doing like a book tag I'm going to do a writing tag because there's not really much writing stuff on YouTube and as someone who has self-published self -published a book I'm very interested in writing and like sharing the writing. If I can find out who started it or what the proper name is I'll put that as a title and I'll put the creator in the description below. So let's begin. Question one, what do you eat or drink while writing? Well, I do a lot of writing in my bedroom, sat on my bed, so I don't want to bring like messy food into my bed. So I have snacks, like maybe packet crisps, maybe chocolate bar. Normally I have like a little bowl like this with some crisps in. It's not very exciting. But for drinks, I'll probably have a bottle of water or some Ribena. Question two, what do you listen to while writing? I normally don't listen too much because it distracts me too, too much because I'm the kind of person who enjoys like humming along, singing along, like at least mentally to the song. But while I was writing Beauty and the Breakdown I did listen to music and I found something. Here. This is the box I have all my like Beauty and the Breakdown things in. So Here is a CD I made while writing it which has like some songs from my writing playlist which this isn't like my final writing playlist but I found this and this is very exciting for me and also this was the book cover that I had while I was still writing this online and then I got a nice one but one of my favorite things about this book is that because I self-published it I could do whatever I want so if you're interested where's the page gone I can't find it I included a track list which is actually my official final writing playlist in the back of the book. Question 3. What is your biggest distraction while writing? Well, I live kind of close to a hospital and you might be able to hear right now that there is an ambulance siren going off. Another big distraction I have is like notifications coming through my phone. If I'm playing music, that is a distraction. And I know I could turn it off but sometimes even having silence is too much of a distraction. Question four, what is the worst thing that has happened to you while writing? Well, I don't have many like huge writing horror stories besides like files not saving properly and that's about it. But, oh, a while ago I was loading up some of my old works. So I know there's a lot of like half finished stories in there, like some like, not even half finished, like at least 10,000, 20,000 words in a Word document. And I opened up a few and they like completely corrupted, like the entire Word document is just like 20 pages of just hashtags that's corrupted. But a more recent worst thing that's happened to me is I was in Barcelona on like a school trip, but I was writing on my iPad and the Wi-Fi was so slow so my Word document on my iPad wouldn't keep syncing to my Dropbox to keep it updated, so I've lost only like 400 words, but I was very proud of those 400 words. Question 5. What is the best thing that's ever happened to you while writing? I think finishing that book is the best thing that's happened to me while writing. Which, today's 26th of August, so it's been exactly a year since I finished writing it, because it's one of my friend's birthdays and I finished writing on her birthday. Wow, I just realised that. And I remember the feeling of being able to write the end at the bottom of the page, and that's like the best feeling. Another great feeling is when I can actually sit down and write a couple thousand words in one go. Like when I was doing, like, I didn't do proper NaNoWriMo, I did Camp NaNo. And I actually got in a good routine where I could write a couple thousand words every day for a month. And now that that, that, now that, that is over, I, I've lost it. <laughs> Question six, who do you communicate with while you're writing? Preferably no one, because when I get like into the zone, you could say, the writing zone, I like to not be distracted at all. But sometimes, you know, I'm something I'm writing right now is something I'm basically writing for a friend. So every now and then I send her updates like you know, how it's going, like words count, when it's gonna be done by just like just so I have like some enthusiasm coming from someone who's not from me into a project. Question seven is what is your secret to success and your biggest writing flaw? I don't have much secret to success besides write for yourself, not someone else. Because if you're writing with 
other people's expectations in mind, you're going to be holding back a lot. And my biggest writing flaw is I like too much dialogue, too much description. It's always too much something and not enough something else. Question 8 is what is your inspiration? What makes you productive? Well, inspiration for like depends purely on the projects. Like for Beauty and the Breakdown, it was the songs that kept me inspired, it was music videos that kept me inspired. Now for the story I'm writing now, it's other things, like I'm a lot very inspired by images. So I have a Pinterest board. Like it's basically just a mood board for the project and that's what keeps me inspired. What makes you productive is a very little. I'm not a productive person, if I can help it. Question 9. What is one thing that you do, or that other writers do, that is super annoying? I have no idea. I can't think of an answer for that. So in the comments below, if you have an answer to the question, what is one thing you do, or other writers do, that's very annoying? Answer that in the comments below, because I'm intrigued and I can't think of an answer myself. <laughs> and finally, question 10 is, are you willing to share something that you've written? I've been thinking of making videos now which would be like reading some scenes or some chapters from this book. So yeah, I've been thinking of making videos of like reading bits from the book. I'm still uncertain. So if you're desperate to read it, there's the preview on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below because I still have the first two chapters of this uploaded on the website where I originally wrote it. You might need an account to read it, but I'll link it in the bottom below anyway. In the bottom below. In the description below. And in the future I might make some like dramatic reading videos. That's all the questions for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all of those things. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!